4.30 at the Grand County Rescue Mission means dinner time. And for some, it also means picking up the ladle. Chester Reed uses his time in the kitchen to serve food, but also make connections with those who come to the rescue mission. It makes me feel good because I, you know, I have a good heart and I love doing things for people. And, you know, like I said, these guys here inspire me to keep going. Everyone who stays at the rescue mission works a job. Chester and his co-workers complete their weekly duties in the kitchen. Director Tom Ballard says the working system helps the residents get back on their feet. And what we want to do is keep a guy busy and keep them uh, so involved in doing things that they're interacting with other people, they're helping people, that they understand, hey, there's a better quality of life than I can live than hanging out with this bottle over here. The rescue mission offers warm meals and a place to stay all year round. A little cold up there, huh? They don't receive help from the government, but rely on community donations, which forces the kitchen staff to become creative with their menus. Occasionally we come down to where we're down to um, not a lot of things to work with, canned goods, what have you, so that's where you become well polished at making something out of nothing. The jobs aren't just in the kitchen. Norman Bailey mans the front desk. He performs his administrative duties, but also helps the newcomers to the mission by sharing his own experience. And when they first come in, I, I sit back and watch them a little bit, and then when I start seeing that they're getting a little comfortable, then I go and talk with them and stuff like that. And then, you know, they was like, well, where do I go? And I'm like, hey, man, the only <laughs> best person I can tell you to go to is, is the staff. Norman shares with the newcomers because of the support he received when he arrived in 2008. The staff, they treat you and bring you in as much as family as they can. You know, most of the time when we do come here, uh, we have broken ties with our family, extended family, stuff like that. They don't want nothing to do with us. So yeah, we, we tend to work on that and then you do have a you get close to each other. The Grant County Rescue Mission will continue helping those who walk through the door. And for workers like Chester and Norman, it's about using what they learned at the mission to encourage others. And I'm going to keep going. And hopefully one day I can come back here and inspire a lot of people that's here that maybe went through what I went through. So I'm trying and, you know, started going, you know, but it's hard, you know, so you just have to take one day at a time. Whether it's answering a phone or sending a smile from the kitchen, these men are learning to motivate others, even if it comes through a new recipe.